All right, guys. This is the Moth House by Ken Forrest. We've played uh, quite a few of their games. Um, they did Wheat Harvest Paradox, Please Don't Litter, uh, Toilet Rooms. They have a few other games I haven't played yet, but um, I, I've liked their game so far, genuinely. So I'm excited for this one. Um, description reads, Moth House is a collectible horror game that is an adventure game in an old house where many varieties of moths dine, which you will catch. The house is very dark and all you find in your pockets is a box of matches with which you can light your way a little. Um, there's multiple endings, three, and uh, 25 types of moths. Notes describing some types of moths. Okay, cool. For some reason, there there's an option to sneak and to run. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Well, moths freak me out. I don't know what it is about moths. I ugh. one time a moth flew like under my glasses and like. Why? Why? Why do they have to be the way they are? I don't know. Moths are like but fuzzy butterflies. I don't like butterflies either, though. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not set oh get in touch, then I have to I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there's a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. Hmm. Wait, Brittany says scary. That's an endorsement I take seriously. But was Brittany being serious? Sneak and run for ice cream. <laughs> I bought ice cream today. I love moths because everyone loves butterflies so much. I don't love any bugs. Yeah, I don't think I love any bugs. Bugs are scary to me. I don't hate bugs, but they, I have a irrational fear of bugs <sighs> all right here we go oh okay oh we're in all right I'm just we walk very quickly let's see about that sneaking oh here we are sneaking oh a little mouse Control to sneak. Yeah, got it. Is this the moths? It looks like moths. Use the mouse wheel to change the item. Oh. Oh, and this is our, our list of... Ooh, that noise. Okay, should we go back to the moths back here just have to open backpack oh crap did I catch Come on. oh I did I ha whoa I caught 11 in that one swoop 11 American dagger moths and 4 leopard moths I think that's all I have right now do you just keep catching them How many matches do I have? Is it is it limited? Have I caught them all? I think I got them all. 15 American dagger moths and 10 leopard moths. Okay. Hmm. Can I interact with anything? More? Oh, look at that big one. Oh, look at that one. Look at all these. 
You just catch them all, man. Come here. I have to free you guys. Is that all of them? Oh, there's more on this wall. Sneaky moths. Look at how sneaky they are. Okay, let's look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how many. We have one Cecropia moth. Ten, ten eight spotted Forester moths. 44 leopard moths, 9 tiger moths, 15 or 60, 15, 65 dagger, dagger moths. Wow. Are there any moths I'm missing? Like, I didn't really take a close, oh crap. Oh, I didn't take a close look at the walls as I walked. Okay, no, I don't think so. It's just this area around the lamp where there were some... Oh, there's another one. Is that another? It is. Well, you, you really gotta, like, catch them one by one. Hmm. Oh. Sneaky. I feel like that's all of them. No? Wait, are they just respawning? Am I going crazy? Hmm. Are you guys just all familiar with moth species? I like the art in this too, it's really cool. Oh. Pick up. What is this? Whoa! Read. Oh. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average value of around 30 to 60. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use, use ultrasound to locate their prey. Okay. So... Wait. 30 to 60? So is that how we're gonna find them? Are there moths here? Locked? I hear them. Oh, that's a lot of them. What? So what am I using the ultrasound for? Wow, look how many. Look at all these giant moths. Give me. Don't moths like not have mouths? I feel like I read that somewhere. They're like weird. Weird, weird little animals. Oh! It's the goose! I love the goose! That's the goose that was in. It was in Toilet Rooms, and it was definitely in Wheat Harvest Paradox. I can't remember if it was in other games. Oh, what's this? The Luna Moth is a species of moth found in North America. It is known for its striking appearance with large pale green wings that have a distinctive shape and pattern. The wingspan of the Luna Moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in North America. 
The caterpillars of this species are also quite striking with bright green bodies and long spiny tails. The luna moth is primarily active at night and feeds on the nectar of flowers. Some don't eat, they only live long enough to mate? That's wild. What's this? Cook? No recipes. Excuse me? Um, pick up? Okay, so I got a crowbar, maybe for the door? Hold on, let's catch these moths. And then we'll look at our moth collection. Can you guys hear me clicking? Holy moths. We have 15 Luna moths, um, 6 Atlas moths, 16 Grape Leaf Skeletonizer moths. Uh, anything else new? We got Leopard moths now. Oh, the law, the law. Oh wait, unblock, yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Wait, I came through here. What's this way? Was this always here? Oh, look. In the bathroom. They're really sneaky, these guys. I'm guessing you get, like, the super good ending if you get, like, every single moth in the house. But how would you? Need a key, okay. Go back down this way. Oh my god! Did you guys see how big that moth was? It was like the size of my head. Where did it go? It like flew towards me and I, I ducked down. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to get all, every moth that I can get. Let's look. Now we have eight death's head hawk moths, um, 14 creatonatos gangus moth. That is terrifying. That thing looks wild. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's in here. Any sneaky moths in this corner? That's a scary moth. I wish I liked insects, but everything in my body is like, nope, run away from insects. The Creatonatos gang gangus moth is a species of moth found in Southeast Asia, Australia, and parts of Africa. It is known for its distinct appearance with brightly colored Bindings? I can't read that. They are covered in long, fluffy hair-like structure called coramata. The coramata are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for mating. The moth is also notable for its ability to vary the size and shape of its coramata in response to environmental and social factors, which may play a role in mate selection and competition. Oh, hind wings. I'm like, I can't read it. It's too blurry. Their butt flaps. Ah! I 
it's just reading a paper. I told you there was a giant moth, guys. I told you. Where am I? What the yuck? Oh. Oh, crap. I just had a heart attack. Should I catch all these moths? There's no way I'm supposed to catch every single one of these moths. I'm gonna need a bigger net. That legit scared the entire crap out of me. What if I catch that moth? What kind of moth is it? Oh my goodness. Now we have 29 walnut sphinx moths and 37 apatellodes torrefacta moths and 63 waved sphinx moths. Oh, and 91 black witch moths that you can't see because it's covered behind me. Imagine a moth walking on your ceiling right now. We don't get a lot of moths in the house, thankfully. They freak me out. Okay. I can't believe we got attacked like that. Oh, we're here. Oh, that was the door that was locked before. So, last time that moth showed up, it was here. And I ducked under this thing right as it flew at me. So, I guess let's continue. I think we're here. I'm ready to catch it if it flies at me again. Like waiting for it to fly out of the darkness. Hmm. How big is this house? See what this is save save recipe oh so we can cook something what can we cook are we cooking moths no there's no way i am wondering if the moths respawn Like, not immediately, but like if you walk away and come back. Alright. Why do I feel like that noise is the giant moth like flying around? Let's go. Oh, crap! Oh, it's coming! Oh, it's coming! Oh! Huh? Nope. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. Dude. Yeah, you better back off. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't catch it. Oh, man. the human equivalent of a jellyfish? The moth? 
Maybe put the match out? Oh, maybe. You might be right. You might have a point. Cook. Recipe. We're cooking moths, guys. Cook. Take. Wait, what do I do with this? Can I eat it? I just cooked moths. Why? Dude, there's so many moths. We're down here. We did this room. Why is this place so big? Why would I eat moths? Dude, I would never. Ooh. Oh, there's some moths in here. And something to read. Mason Hart. In a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, the well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on a, while on a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest. The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, was observed by Mr. Hart communicating in English. This, is, this incredible discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Lingua Moth and has placed, oh, has pledged to continue studying and protecting this remarkable insect. All right, um, let's catch these moths. So maybe we don't catch all the moths in the basement. I think that might be impossible. I think we have to catch all the ones. Okay, put the match out. I think we have to catch all the ones that are like around here. Did we get them all? I think so. Where did I come from? I don't know where I am now. Oh. That's a lot of moths. Have we been here? Moth cult? I don't know if I'd be about the moth cult life. These, these moths look a little different. I'm scared. <sighs> Amazon rainforest speaks English. Yeah, I found that funny too. Not Portuguese. <laughs> Get over here. Get. No. No! I put my light out! I put it out! I hit it! Oh, it didn't work. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Wait, no, it's not fine. I... Is he, like, putting me in cocoons every time? Or is she? I don't know what it is. All right. Here we go. What is our end goal? What is the end goal here? What is this? Books? See another paper. Oh, another recipe? Who am I? Am I meant to like feed someone or 
Oh crap, there it is! Oh god, we gotta juke it. Where do we go? I think I went in a circle? Holy moss. I see a paper here. Another recipe. That's a third recipe. Am I really meant to collect every single moth in this house? This seems unreasonable. A fourth recipe. I want to look at my moth inventory. Okay, the only moth I don't have any of is the white witch moth. That's the only one I don't have. I have everything else. Oh. Hmm. Is there a room over here? Another recipe? Is that the white witch moth? I think it flew by me. Oh, I see something else here. I got a key and then there's another thing to read. Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in Biology for his discovery of the lingua moth, a new species of moth that can speak human language. The lingua moth, moth's ability to communicate in English, has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. Uh-huh. Mm hmm Okay, so I have all of the moths now. I have all of the kinds of moths. I'm hiding. It sounds like it's really close by. We we already made moth soup, I feel like. Hmm. Okay. It's gone. I hope. What's over here? More moths. Many more moths. When does it end? Back out here. Some big moths over here. We'll pick them up. All right. You were once a moth. <laughs> How was that? How was that life? The Great British Bake Moth. Okay. I... I'm not sure what I'm meant to do with the food. Is there something... Someone I need to feed? And I have a key as well. Grab that. Oh, here's the kitchen. What do I do with the food? Do I take it downstairs? Like, should I go to the basement? Like, feed something here? 
Who needs moth food? No one? No one needs moth food? Hmm. I like the ambience of this game. It's good. I like it too. It's very, uh, very unique. <laughs> this is where I came from, right? Okay. This is where we started the game. I can leave. But what about the recipes? Can I look at the other recipes I got? I don't think so. Tab only opens up the moths. What do I do with this pot of moth? What do I do with the key? Was there another door that was locked? I feel like there was. I just can't recall where it was. Oh, was it here? Yeah, that was- it was here. Wait, what? Oh, crap. Oh! Do you want the moth soup? Hello, human. I'm the moth, king's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. Wait, are you the... Are you the lingua moth, or is the giant one the lingua moth? I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. He's already tired of eating little moth moths flying by past him. Once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently, and with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the Moth King. Eat. Thanks. But one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it's better... It be it's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients. Great. Let's, let's do that. It's moth soup. Put. Cook. Okay, so we'll do... We'll do the next one. We made a different moth soup for the Moth King. Feed. Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time and two pots of soup is not enough for him. Make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. I think we picked up like five recipes. Holy. Not enough ingredients for this one? Okay, we'll do this one next. I like the noises. He's a growing king. Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. Oh? the stuff of nightmares. So polite. Moth house. That was good. I'm sure there's um other endings where you don't feed him and maybe but like I, I assume there's an ending where you get all the moths and leave. And then another ending where you don't get all the moths and leave. I'm curious to see what happens if we get like one moth and then we just like walk out. So, so let's just play it real quick and see. Dear son. So is, is that our father that we were reading about? Mason Hart? 
Let's get like one moth. We got a moth. All right, we're done. All right, Dad, we we fulfilled your legacy. We caught a single moth, and we're gonna set it free outside. I don't need to go back. Wait, but I could leave earlier. Hmm. Speed run time. I think we just need to collect all of the types of moths. So. Let's do that. I don't know what the ultrasound thing is for. It's kind of like, I feel like it's kind of pointless. I'm not sure. Yes, this is a game about collecting moths. Yes. Okay, we got- we still need black witch moth and one other moth that I'm missing. Let's really catch the ones on the walls. Those are like... I wonder if those ones are in the basement. Alright, let's see what we got. What are we looking for? We need... No, we got them all. We got all the moths. Alright, let's try to leave. Let's go ahead and leave. See what happens. Three. Okay, we let them go. Bye, moths. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another ending. You just let them go. This was a good game. I like this one. This was very unique and cool. And, um... I like the the mechanics of it. It's very good. 